I just found the fastest and the easiest way to translate your website into a different language. The name of the service is Weglot and they're gonna automatically translate your website for you using machine language and apparently it's really good. It's about 90% accurate. So it will take a lot of the pain and hard work out of translating your website from scratch. Now here I am on their pricing page, but we're not gonna use a paid plan for this video. We're gonna use this free plan right here, which includes translation for 2000 words, which is pretty good for most business websites that don't really have a ton of written content on it anyway. Now, if you're thinking 2000 words isn't gonna get you that far, think again. I'm gonna show you this free Chrome extension I've been using, it's called SEO Minion, and it's gonna actually count those words up for you. So let me try to give you an idea of, of how far you can go with 2000 words. Here I am back on the Weglot homepage, and here's this Chrome extension. It's really cool, it's called SEO Minion, it's free. Just Google SEO Minion, Chrome and it'll be right there and it's easy to add. So what this does is it analyzes pages that you're on and gives you a ton of information about them. So right here, I'm gonna click on analyze SEO and it says right here, the Weglot homepage, their very own homepage only has 625 words on it. So when you factor that they're gonna translate 2000 words for you for free, it's a really good deal. And right here is the page that we're gonna translate. And you can see we've got a bunch of text all over it. And so we're gonna go ahead and run this through Weglot. Now, if you want to translate more than 2000 words, I got good news for you. Uh, there's a link in the video description box that'll take you to Weglot's website. And they're gonna give you a little bit of a discount on these paid plans. But these paid plans themselves are very affordable. I think this is the most popular one. One of these are the most popular one. I think it's the business plan right here. So if you need more than just one language, you'll need to jump up to this business plan right here. I guess it's 19 bucks a month, but you won't pay 19 bucks if you use the link in the video description box. Let's go ahead and get started translating. Okay, so here we are. So I'm gonna name the project and I just need to choose what my website's based off of. And for me, it's going to be WordPress. It's kind of a nice thing about Weglot. You can translate any platform. So let me go ahead and fill this out. There it is, I'll go ahead and click on next and it's going to give me the next steps. So I need to copy this API key so I can click copy and then I need to install the Weglot plugin on the website. Okay, here I am on that website. I'll go to plugins, add new and do a search for Weglot. There it is, I'll click on install now and then I'll go ahead and activate this plugin and then right here, I'll click on settings. Okay, so I'm gonna first paste in my API key right there. My original language is English and the destination language, I'm gonna choose Spanish. Obviously there's more complex languages, but I'm gonna choose Spanish because I live in Southern California and there's a very large Spanish speaking population here. So it'd be nice to have a Spanish version of the website. So I'm gonna type uh, Spanish like this. I'll spell it right, there we go. And there it is, I'll go ahead and click on save changes and it tells me I'm all done. Uh, it's added automatically for me a language switcher on the front end of the website, you'll be able to see it. And it's telling me to head back on over to Weglot's website in order to verify the automatic translations. Uh, I'll go ahead and just close this box. Now there's some options here that you might want to familiarize yourself with. Right here, it has to do with how the language switcher looks. And so let's go ahead and verify that. Uh, here I am on the front end of the website. I'll do a quick refresh and you can see right here on the bottom right, I now have a language switcher that stays stuck there. There's some additional options we'll take a look at in a moment. If I wanna change the language, I can click on it and then choose the alternate language. There it is. And now my website is in Spanish. Unfortunately though, I am not a Spanish speaker, so I'm not gonna be able to verify this. However, the machine language translation I hear is 
amazing and it's about 90% accurate. But you will need to go through each of the automatic translations just to verify it. Well, you don't have to. I just think it's a good idea to do that. If you need someone for that, I recommend going to translationpartner.com and they do these translations. So if I go right here, it says languages we serve. They serve pretty much most languages around the world. So Spanish is going to be found here under European languages. I can go ahead and click there and you can see here's the European languages and there is Spanish and they do different types of translation services, medical translation, financial translation. I would imagine those are more complex translation projects. I'll put a link down to translation partner in the video description for you. All right, let's go back to Weglot's website to verify this translation. Uh, here I am and boom, it realizes that I'm already connected and now it just wants me to choose an industry. I'll just choose education and type of website. Um, let's just put e-commerce and let's go ahead and jump into the translation. So right here, we're going to have your stats. So you can see here's my stats, 473 words. And so when you're factoring the 2000 words, you still have a long way to go. All right, so let's go ahead and click on translations up here. And here it is. Now there's two ways to verify these translations and they're both very convenient. So if you click right here, it's going to show all of the translations, the automatic translations right here for you to verify, tweak or edit. So what you can do is your translator will read this and they'll read this. And if it's good, they'll go ahead and click on this and it will say marked as reviewed. And so that means this is good to go. And then they can go on to the next string of text all the way through this list to completely verify the translation. Now, what I'm going to do is show you the visual editor, which I think is really cool. So I can go right here, click on visual editor. And right here, I'll click on start editing. It opens up in a new tab and I have this visual editor. So the first step would be to put this in the other language. So I'm going to switch right here from English to Spanish and it's pretty much point and click. So here is my headline. I can go and click on the pencil icon and then right here I can I can tweak the translation. And after verifying it, I can go right here to approve it just like that. And you can also translate URLs and the SEO data. Check this out. I'll click right here where it says SEO. And this is the page title as it would show with Google. And right here, you have the translation right there as well. If you wanted to translate one of the URLs or better known as slugs, you could click right here and you can add that in. I'll click on add slug. You could leave it the default one and just give your visitor the option to change the language. Or if you wanted the, the URL slug to be translated as well, you can go ahead and do that. Just type the original slug here. So for me, if it was uh, contact like that, I would put the translated version right here and the URL would switch when people have switched languages. Now let's go ahead and jump into the settings here. Now in the settings, you're going to be able to control some things to make it the way you want, including that language switcher. Although I liked the language switcher, how it is. But this right here is interesting, auto switch. So what this is going to do is it's going to check the language that the visitor's web browser is in. And if it's in that language, it'll automatically show in their language. So in this case, if someone visits their, their browsers in Spanish, it's going to automatically show the Spanish translation. So you can turn this on if you wanted. Uh, it's super easy. So here's going to be our options for that language switcher. So if you just wanted to show the flag or didn't want to show the flag and just show the language name, you, you have all these various options here and you can tweak it to your heart's content. This is really interesting because you can right here exclude URLs from being translated as well as excluding certain parts of your page. And here's a few WordPress specific settings where you can translate aspects of emails that go out, search result pages and all of that. 
And there's one last feature I cannot leave out because I think it's really cool. You can also have for a different translation, have a different image. So if you have images that have text in it, of course, you need to translate or have a very different variation of that image that the words are translated in. So here is, I'm back in the visual editor, here is such an image right here. And so if I click on the edit, it's gonna provide right here the URL to the original image. And then I'd want to have a URL to the translated image from the media library, which is super easy to get. You would upload the translated version to your media library. And when you click on an image in the media library, right here's the URL and you can click right here to copy it. That's how you would upload it to your website and get that alternate version, the translated version of that image. And that's Weglot, it's that simple. And I really think this is out of all the translation tools that I've used, the fastest and easiest way to translate your website into a different language and but I got to say a little caveat to that. I don't speak another language, so I can't verify the translation. Uh, however, I have been told that this is very accurate. Machine learning has come a long way. AI has definitely come a long way as well. So you can be the judge if you're a Spanish speaker and you saw the little bit of translation. You can let me know what you think in the comment section down below. So this is we got a lot super easy way to translate your website. If you did go over the amount of words, there is a link down below that you can click on to sign up and get a discount for we glot. It's a great tool. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.